just as uh, Coach Rock said, I'm going to talk about some guys that I feel like uh, are really important on defense. And because I'm the defensive line coach, uh, the guys that I think are important are the guys that are up front to kind of lead things off for us defensively. The first guy I'm going to talk about is Jonte Burt. And there's a little bit of a story that goes behind uh, the recruiting of, of Jonte. Uh, after our bowl game, or actually during our bowl game, the coach at Mainland was sitting at his house, house watching the game. And one of the things that he noticed while he was watching was a couple of our defensive tackles making a lot of plays in that, in that game versus Arkansas State. And the commentators on television were talking about uh, the height of our defensive tackles and the fact that both of those guys are under six foot tall. Well, he, he knew that he had a, a great player uh, that was also under six foot tall. And so the very next day, he sent me an email and got in touch with me. And, and the, the rest is kind of history. One of the unique things you'll see about Jonte is uh, he played running back at times for his team this year. That's a 270 pound man carrying the ball there. Uh, he rushed for six touchdowns and uh, over 100 yards on the season. You can see he's got pretty good feet there. He's also a great student, 3.3 uh, GPA. The next guy I'm going to talk about is Terrence Wall, who is a defensive end. Uh, also a great student. Uh, Terrence has a 3.25 GPA in the classroom. Uh, Terrence is a perfect combination for a defensive end to me. Uh, he is a great edge rusher with a lot of athleticism. Uh, but he's also physical at the point of attack. Uh, one of the things that I really liked about Terrence was uh, the fact that he wrestled his junior year. It was the first time that Terrence had wrestled uh, in his life, and he ended up placing in the state of Georgia in wrestling. Uh, so that kind of gives you an idea what kind of athlete he is. Uh, The next guy is uh, Tyson Reinke. Tyson's a guy that we recruited early on, uh, had committed last summer, also a very good student, 3.0 GPA, uh, four-year letterman. Uh, and that doesn't mean a whole lot until you say it's at Eden Prairie High School. Uh, the tradition, uh, the state championships that they've won at Eden Prairie, it's really hard. I think he's only the second player in the history of Eden Prairie High School to be a four-year letter winner. He's been an all-state player the last two years, and uh, his team has won two state championships and been runner-up for the state championship the other year. So a pretty good football player on a pretty good team. Next up, Coach Dave McMichael. Thank you. I'm Ben Needham. I coach the linebackers. You guys awake? Everybody alive? These guys are worth bragging about, and uh, I'm thrilled to have the linebackers joining our program that we do. First up is Darius Redmond. First got to know Darius last spring, was at a different school and watched his film, and was convinced that he could be a really good football player. When we got to Kent in early January, uh, saw his senior film and was blown away. His senior film is, is outstanding, so we really think he has a chance to be a great player here. Darius comes to us from Miami Northwestern High School. He was all Dade County, which if you follow recruiting at all, you know Dade County is about as talented a county as there is in the country. And uh, as you watch the film, what we love about uh, Darius is that there's no hesitation. He sees ball, gets ball, and uh, he'll come downhill and is a very sure tackler as you watch the film. There's no uh, doubt in his mind when he goes to get the football. So we're excited to have Darius join the fold. Uh, Darius came on a visit here the third week in January and uh, we got a chance to put him up on the board and just talk some football and was really impressed by his intelligence as well as a very bright football player. Dustin Moore uh, comes to us from Georgia Heritage High School. Dustin was committed when we got here to Kent, the new staff, and uh, we're thrilled to have him. Uh, Dustin, very, very bright student. He's a four-year scholar athlete at Heritage High School. And what we love about Dustin is we tell our linebackers here at Kent all the time, you have to refuse to be blocked. And you'll see Dustin will do whatever it takes to get off the block. He'll go around, over, or I love it when he goes through the guy. Um, very, very physical player, very strong. He's a power lifter as well. Um, and his dad, 
actually played in the NFL uh, for several years. So he comes from good bloodlines. Ryan Siebert comes to us from Olentangy Liberty High School. Uh, Ryan is a very tall, very athletic guy. You'll see these clips here where he's playing safety. He was a safety as a junior, got a little bit bigger and was going to play linebacker as a senior, and then got hurt prior to his senior season. So didn't get a chance to compete, but boy, are we excited to have him. Ryan's a very, very tough, very hard-nosed guy. He doesn't talk a lot, uh, but knows what he's doing on the football field, and we love the way that he fills the alley and comes downhill. You'll notice Ryan here coming from the safety position and uh, can run a little bit as well. One thing I love about Ryan is obviously Kent State here has had uh, success forcing turnovers. And you'll see a couple clips as well that Ryan playing defensive back has some tremendous ball skills. When the ball is thrown to his area, he knows uh, how to go up and get it and force turnovers. So we're excited to have Ryan join in the fold uh, and excited to have another Ohio player with us. My name's Coach Campbell, Coach The Corners. The first guy I'm going to talk about is Demetrius Monday. Uh, Demetrius is a kid from uh, Petalbrook High School in Douglas, Georgia. Great athlete. Uh, one of the great things about Demetrius, you know, we got on the phone this morning, and the first thing he wanted to do was uh, he said, Coach, I wish I was there. You know, I want, to be in the, I want to get started now. He's a kid that loves the game of football. He's the first team all region, three-time defensive player of the week, uh, one-time officer player of the week as well. Demetrius had 62 tackles right there. That, you know, playing this position as a corner, that's one of the first things you want to look at. You want to make sure a kid can tackle. And, you know, he shows it on film. Uh, he had tw 12 pass breakups. That's something that we want to work on a little bit. We want to catch that football, so we don't want to give that back. But he had uh, 12 pass breakups, two forced fumbles. And uh, one of the great things that kind of stuck out to me on this film, um, as you can see, as you, as you will see, he had two punt returns for touchdowns. So, He's very explosive uh, when he gets the ball in his hands on special team as well. So that was kind of a big thing, uh, you know, for us as well. And plus, he's a kid that was highly, very highly recruited, and uh, we was lucky to get him. The next kid is uh, Eric Church. Uh, Eric Church is out of uh, Timber Creek High School in New Jersey. This kid here, uh, you know, what's great about Eric is pound for pound is uh, a tough kid. You know, loves the weight room. Um, he's a physical corner. He's an all-area corner, all-conference, uh, two-time conference champ. And one of the great things that stuck out, which we kind of hit on a little bit earlier, he's a two-time state champion, which is awesome. Um, he's a winner, and he's a kid that's going to compete every uh, every play, uh, and also when he's out on the field. Another great thing about Eric, he was academic all state uh, in New Jersey, which is awesome. Um, so academics is very important. He had 106 tackles in his junior and senior year, four interceptions, 16 tackles. I mean, excuse me, 16 pass breakups and four forced fumbles. <clears throat> Good to see you guys again. I'm Jeff Burrow, the safeties coach. Uh, first young man up is Elsie Refuge from New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, this young man knows all about winning. Um, Elsie, his team has been to the state championship game every year he's been in high school. So uh, they, he comes from a winning program. On top of that, they won the state this year, um, his senior season. For his career, Elsie has... 13 interceptions on top of being a tremendous athlete. Uh, he plays around the box. Uh, he's very athletic, very explosive. Um, and when he hits people, he gets there in a hurry and with a bad attitude. He has tremendous confidence. Um, on top of that, Elsie's a really good student. Uh, he's just, just a shade under a 3.0, uh, wants to study kinesiology. Um, Elsie was a tremendous find for us. Uh, he gives you that rare ability of a guy who can run, um, make plays in space, and also get the ball back, which we try to do here on defense. The next young man is Kevin Bourne out of Newark Catholic High School. Um, you want to talk about multifaceted. Uh, Kevin led his team in tackles, 
in touchdown score with 26, defensive touchdowns with four, special teams touchdowns, interceptions, fumble recoveries, forced fumbles. I mean, he did it all. And then on top of the other side of that, he led his team in receiving, in rushing, his leading kick returner, leading punt returner. He also tied an uh, Ohio State high school record with 108 interception and yard return. Um, on top of that, he's a great student. He ran 3.2 GPA, uh, 20 on his ACT, um, a coach's kid, so he'll be a joy to coach. He understands the football, the game of football. He makes plays on the ball. I think he'll just uh, will be a guy that will be an impact player as he grows older in the program. Uh, we're going to put some weight on, on Kevin, but as he, as he develops and gets older, I think, you know, his potential goes through the roof, um, and we're lucky to have him. The last young man, one of the twins that we discussed earlier, this is the other half, Nate Holly, out of uh, Toledo from Whitmer. Um, Nate, I like to describe Nate as all-day tough kid. Nate's not a whole bunch of smiles. He's very serious um, about the game of football. Nate played, uh, he's kind of a hybrid. You know, he played a little bit of linebacker, strong safety type position, which fits perfectly into our system with what we call our star. Um, Nate's a very aggressive player. Nate was another all-state selection. On top of that, he was an all-academic Ohio selection as well. So his academics are just as important to him as his football. Um, I think Nate will bring a lot of energy, uh, but more importantly, he will bring a level of toughness that we want to be uh, a staple of what we do on defense.